teach us to raise our own desires so often to the truth and to fix our own respect for the relationship. Since if you're doing your best on the path of the divine, you're not a stranger to the real purpose for which charity is willing to show. Turn your merciful gaze towards us, draw us into your words, shower us with your kindness, lead us into the light of your own love, lead us to the further and higher into the splendors of heaven. Let nothing ever trouble our peace, nor make us see the thought of God, but let each know that this prayer and to the rest of your blessings and through the day in our souls. For we bless in our love and divine union, who will see all things in the eternal life. Thank you. Son of God, Savior, have mercy on me, a sinner. Jesus, Son of God, Savior, have mercy on me, a sinner. Have mercy on me, God, in your kindness. In your compassion, blot out my offense. Oh, wash me more and more from my guilt, and cleanse me from my sin. My offenses, truly I know them. My sin is always before me. Against you, you alone, have I sinned. What is evil in your sight I have done? That you may be justified when you give sentence, and be without reproach when you judge. O oh, see, in guilt I was born, a sinner was I conceived. If indeed you love truth in the heart, then in the secret of my heart teach me wisdom. O oh, purify me, then I shall be clean. O oh, wash me, I shall be whiter than snow. Make me hear rejoicing <coughs> and gladness, that the bones you have crushed may revive. From my sins turn away your face, and blot out all my guilt. A pure heart create for me, O God, put a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence, nor deprive me of your Holy Spirit. Give me again the joy of your help, with a spirit of fervor sustain me that I may teach transgressors your ways, and sinners may return to you. O oh, rescue me, God, my helper, and my tongue shall ring out your goodness. O oh, Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your for in sacrifice you take no delight, burned offering from me you would refuse. My sacrifice, a contrite spirit, a humbled contrite heart you will not spurn. 
in your goodness shall favor Josiah, rebuild the walls of Jerusalem. Then you will be pleased with lawful sacrifice, all of Christ offered on your altar. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Jesus, Son of God, Savior, have mercy on me, a sinner. Week four. shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. O Lord, you have been our refuge from one generation to the next. Before the mountains were born, or the earth or the world brought forth, you are God without beginning. You turn men back into dust and say, Go back, sons of men, to your eyes a thousand years, are like yesterday come and gone, no more than a watch in the night. You sweep men away like a dream, like the grass which springs up in the morning, in the morning it springs up and flowers, by evening it withers and fades. So we are destroyed in your anger, struck with terror in your fury. Our guilt lies open before you, our secrets in the light of your face. All our days pass away in your anger, our life is over like a sigh. Our span is seventy years, or eighty for those who are strong. And most of these are emptiness and pain. They pass swiftly and we are gone. Who understands the power of your anger and hears the strength of your fury? <coughs> Make us know the shortness <coughs> of our life, that we may gain wisdom of heart. Lord, relent is your anger forever. Show pity to your servant. In the morning, fill us with your love. We shall exult and rejoice all our days. Give us joy to balance our affliction for the years when we knew misfortune. Show forth your work to your servants. Let your glory shine on their children. Let the favor of the Lord be upon us. Give success to the work of our hands. Give success to the work of our hands. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. The word of the cross is folly to those who are perishing. It is good to give 
thanks to the Lord, to make music to your name, O Most High. To proclaim your love in the morning, and your truth in the watches of the night. On the thin string lyre and the lute, with the murmuring sound of the heart. Your deeds, O Lord, have made me glad. For the work of your hands I shout with joy. O Lord, how great are your works! How deep are your designs! Foolish man cannot know this, and the fool cannot understand. Though the wicked spring up like grass, and all who do evil thrive, they are doomed to be eternally destroyed. But you, Lord, are eternally on high. See how your enemies perish. All the earths of evil are scattered. To me you give the wild ox a stretch. You anoint me with the purest oil. My eyes looked in triumph on my foes. My ears heard gladly of their fall. The just will flourish like the palm tree and grow like a Lebanon cedar. Planted in the house of the Lord, they will flourish in the courts of our God. Still bearing fruit when they are old, still full of sap, still green. To proclaim that the Lord is just, in him my rock there is no loss. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. The word of the cross is folly to those who are perishing. Who is that coming up from the wilderness, leaning upon her beloved? I rejoice heartily in the Lord. In my God is the joy of my soul. For he has clothed me with a robe of salvation and wrapped me in a mantle of justice. Like a bridegroom adorned with a diadem, like a bride bedecked with her jewels, as the earth brings forth its plants, and the garden makes its growth spring up, so will the Lord God make justice and praise spring up before all the nations. For Zion's sake I will not be silent, for Jerusalem's sake I will not be quiet. Until her vindication shines forth like the dawn, and her victory like a burning torch. Nations shall behold your vindication, and all kings your glory. You shall be called by a new name, pronounced by the mouth of the Lord. You shall be a glorious crown in the hand of the Lord, a royal diadem held by your God. No more shall men call you forsaken, or your land desolate, but you shall be called my delight, and your land is found. For the Lord delights in you, and makes your land his spouse. As the young man marries a virgin, 
your builder shall marry you. And as a bridegroom rejoices in his bride, so shall your God rejoice in you. Upon your walls, O Jerusalem, I have stationed watchmen. Never by day or by night shall they be silent. O oh, you who are to remind the Lord, take no rest, and give no rest to him until he reestablishes Jerusalem and makes of it the pride of the years. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Who is that coming up from the wilderness, leaning upon her beloved? All flesh shall see the salvation of God. Sing a new song to the Lord, for he has worked wonders. His right hand and his holy arm have worked salvation. The Lord has made known his salvation, has shown his justice to the nation. He has remembered his truth and love for the house of Israel. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation of our God. Shout to the Lord, all the earth, bring out your joy. Sing psalms to the Lord with the heart, with the sound of music. With the trumpets and the sound of the horn, acclaim the King, the Lord. Let the sea and all within it thunder, the world and all its peoples. Let the rivers clap their hands, and the hills ring out their joy at the presence of the Lord. For he comes, he comes to rule the earth. He will rule the world with justice and the peoples with fairness. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. All flesh shall see the salvation of God. From the book of Deuteronomy. You are a people sacred to the Lord your God. He has chosen you from all the nations on the face of the earth to be a people peculiar to his own. It was because the Lord loved you and because of his fidelity to the oath he had sworn to your fathers that he brought you on with his strong hand from the place of slavery, granting you from the hand of Pharaoh, king of Egypt. Understand then that the Lord your God is God indeed, faithful God who keeps his merciful covenant down to the thousandth generation toward those who love him and keep his commandments.
with the seven. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has come to his people and set them free. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior, born of the house of his servant David. Through his holy prophets he promised of old that he would save us from our enemies. From the hands of all who hate us, he promised to show mercy to our fathers and to remember his holy covenant. This was the oath he swore to our father Abraham to set us free from the hands of our enemies, free to worship him without fear. Who in righteousness strive all the days of our lives. You, my child, shall be called the prophet of the Most High, for you will go before the Lord to prepare his way, to give his people knowledge of salvation by the forgiveness of their sins. In the tender compassion of our God, the dawn from on high shall break upon us to shine on those who dwell in darkness and the shadow of death, and to guide our feet into the way of peace. Glory to the Father and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, to God who is, who was, and who is to come, now and forever. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, that we may begin with holy fasting this campaign of Christian service, so that as we take up the battle against evil spirits, we may be armed with weapons of self-restraint. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in the peace of Christ. Thanks be to God. May the divine assistance be always with us. And also with our brothers and sisters. O John, shining star of the church, you reflect the Father's light by revealing to us the mystery of the word, the eternal fruit of his wisdom source of all life and of all truth, O beloved disciple of the Word made flesh, O 
at the Last Supper, rest as your head upon his heart, drawing the secrets of the Father's beloved Son, and for the Savior of all. O beloved Son of Mary, who at the cross received the treasure of the heart of Jesus crucified, thus becoming the witness of his wounded heart, we beseech you, despite our unworthiness, our weaknesses, and our infidelities, be our Father, that we may be true sons of the Father, living by his light, and by the ardor of the wounded heart of the Archippus, under the life-giving guidance of the Spirit. 